Um, I'm trying to calm myself down so I don't go a little too crazy in the video, but... Hey, what's up you guys? Nick here. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm a professional photographer. I've been shooting professionally for about three years now, but I've had a camera in my hand for the last 15 or 16 years, ever since high school. For those of you who are back, thank you again for checking out another video. I hope you guys have subscribed. So today I want to talk about my first sponsorship. And as you can probably tell from the two guys in front of me, uh, Jolly Look Camera actually sponsored me. They saw my review video, they reached out to me. We've been talking for the last few months and they've got some big announcements. I get to be a part of that, so I'm super excited to help with that announcement. So stay tuned to the end, you guys, because that's when I'm gonna make the announcement. But right now, let's talk about the Jolly Look. So as you guys might've remembered from my Jolly Look video, I'll link the playlist right here. I have a love affair with this camera. It is a daily carry camera with me. I keep it in my pocket because it folds up nice and conveniently like this. It's made out of cardboard and paper. It's instant film. It uses the Fuji Instamatic film, monochrome or color. It's fantastic. It's an analog camera. And I was actually getting ready to order some of the accessories and Jolly Look reached out to me and we started talking and they sent me another camera and a bunch of accessories. So let's talk about those accessories, you guys. So we're gonna use my old Jolly Look for the first part of this and they actually sent me their polarized lenses pack, which is awesome. This one's like magenta. I got a polarized filter. They're all polarized. This one is a UV filter, like sunglasses. This one actually looks like it stops down a little bit, and it also is UV protectant because I can see on my little LCD monitor the color change. Oh yes, and this one's like a greenish, bluish. So I was playing around with these a little bit. That way I didn't look like an idiot on camera. But I found that these are kind of a tight fit on this lens right here. And the reason for that is about a year ago, I saw a video of someone and they were having issues with these filters falling off of their lenses. But what I found is, because these are made out of cardboard as well as the camera, is if you slightly twist it on, so your lines are parallel with the ground, it fits really well, it doesn't fall off. I haven't had any issues with it. They screw on really cool, they fit really cool. We're gonna do a video where we play around with those. The next thing they sent me, and I was actually really excited for it, and this is the accessory that I wanted the most, and that is the tripod mount. Um, I've wanted a tripod mount for the Jolly Look for a while because it has pinhole, and if you guys remember from my shutter speed video, I'll link that right there, when you're doing a long exposure like you would need for pinhole, the camera will pick up shake, and especially if you're shooting in your hand, so a tripod is absolutely necessary for shots like that. Now what I found though, is when I try to put this on the camera I had, it's kind of wobbly wobbly, and that is because the magnet polarity is the same, and that's why it does that. Now, I actually thought that it was the tripod mount's fault, and I went to go dig it out, but I decided before I dug it out, really, and ruined the adhesive that was on there, I would try it on the new camera they sent me. And it fits like a charm. No problems, no issues. It feels like it'll be a really sturdy mount for pinhole photography. I mean, it's a really light camera, so if it's windy, I'm definitely gonna feel the effects of it, but it feels like a really good mount. Now, one thing I do wanna make clear is Jolly Look has been very transparent about the issues they've had in the past with quality control and production issues, especially when their factories were in China. Now, I bought this off of Amazon, so this could have been an early production model from China or an early production model from Ukraine, and that's why the magnet in this is actually the problem, because it fits perfectly on the one they sent me directly from Ukraine. This is the newest production that they have currently. They sent it directly from the factory in Ukraine. It was actually a really funny story because they sent it in the beginning of December and I didn't get it till last week when I'm shooting this and that was because of Orthodox Christmas and New Year and all the holidays going on. So I was really excited to get everything. But yeah, this is a new production one. This is possibly an old production one when the quality control wasn't quite where it is now and that's why the magnetic base doesn't work on my old camera but it definitely works really well on the new camera. Another thing they sent me was the camera strap. Now, I don't really use camera straps. It's a personal preference. If you ever see me shooting, you'll probably see a camera strap on my camera, and it's just good to have one on there in case you gotta throw it up on you real quick or something along those lines. 
I don't really like them. I think they get in the way. This fits in my pocket. It's no big deal. But the way it looks is you'll take this little piece of plastic and it came with two brass screws and you can kind of mount it wherever you want, whether it's on the bottom or the top or the side. Probably not the side because the developer crank is on the side and you probably don't want to mess with that by actually screwing into it. So yeah, I'll definitely be doing some videos in the future. I have the videos for the next month or so planned out and I'm going to and I've already started shooting some of them, so this will be a little bit further out, but I did finally get everything and I kind of wanted to go over it with you guys. I'm really excited to play with these lenses and to play with the tripod mount. So the big announcement, you guys, the thing some of you hopefully have been waiting for is, so Jolly Look has tested, developed, and built one of these, but it's made out of wood and it's amazing. They've shared with me some of the early photos and the early video of it working. It's, it's fully automated. It's, I mean, it's not fully automated. So with the, jolly, with the wooden Jolly look, it's going to still be the Fuji Instamatic film. This, all of it, is going to be made out of wood. You'll still choose your aperture, but it's going to have a sensor, so it'll set your shutter speed for you. It has a built-in flash. It's, it's amazing. Um, the launch date last I heard is January 28th on Kickstarter. So I will update this video with the description on the link on the 29th to a link to their Kickstarter. I'm going to be funding it. I will definitely putting my money where my mouth is. I am really excited to get one of those wooden cameras in my hands. If it performs anywhere near as well as these have performed for me, it's going to be fantastic. And automatic essentially because the shutter speed is going to self choose and it has a built in flash that you can turn on and off instant camera that looks like an old viewfinder like this here, a wooden folding camera. I'm so excited and I, I can't wait for the Kickstarter to launch. I can't wait to get one in my hand and actually go out and shoot with it. I promise you guys a video series. I will, as soon as I get that camera in my hands, I will stop my schedule and we will be doing videos on that camera because that camera is going to be amazing. So definitely throw them, you guys, some support. Again, they've had issues in the past. They've been completely transparent with those issues. They worked through it and they've gotten this far so far where they've got a product. I've got two of their products on my table here and I will link again, I will link the review video there. This is from before they contacted me, before the sponsorship was a thing. I genuinely stand behind this camera. I absolutely love what they're doing. I love the analog feel of these old ones. I love the fact that they're going to be building a wooden Instamatic camera. It's just, it's just awesome. I'm just absolutely excited and ecstatic about that. Um, I'm trying to calm myself down so I don't go a little too crazy in the video, but I'm really, really excited to have a wooden jolly look in my hand. So please, you guys, show them your support. I'm gonna put an Amazon affiliated link to the jolly looks. I believe they have new stock now, the new production stock in there. And I'm also gonna link their page so you guys can pick yourself up some of these accessories, the tripod mount, the lenses, the neck strap, anything else you want. Again, thank you guys so very much for supporting me. None of this would be possible without you guys. The sponsorship wouldn't have been possible. Where I am now would not be possible without you guys. So again, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you guys see my videos as they upload. Share this video if you like it, and you guys have a wonderful night. Bye.